Good morning, good noon, good afternoon. Morning. Okay, um, today we have uh, um, three characters to learn, the new characters. And uh, um, some of them uh, we learned before. So uh, Mary, Mary Dan, uh, later I will send you the handout for uh, the other characters we um, have learned before uh, when our class, when you are not here. I will send you the handout. And uh, um, other, stu uh, other students, we have learned some and we got handout and uh, um, I will let you know um, um, in which date the handout, we learned the character for like the red, the character red and uh, the character um, flower and the lotus, we got the handout. Um, I found it yes, I found it yesterday. I check I checked the date and uh, um, probably uh, uh, Emily is more organized than I do. <laughs> it got already. Okay, anyway, um, so um, I, as I said in handout, we will do the uh, characters, learn the new characters um, this class and do some, see how many percentage we can do for the, the painting. And the next class, uh, we are going to continue or after this class, you can finish um, as homework. Uh, so I will save some for uh, next time, actually for um, reviewing, including the characters we learned before and we learned today. It's um, you know, uh, very, um, very fast already, like two characters for calligraphy, for um, calligraphy writing in one week, even, even for the native though, know the character already uh, for practice, practice the calligraphy writing, like two in a week is very fast, <laughs> almost, and every week continued. <laughs> So, <laughs> Emily, you have done a lot and captured all of them this week. <laughs> okay, um, let's start uh, today's the first character. Uh, is the reflect. Okay, you see my cursor, right? Can you see my cursor? Yes, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Basically two parts, right? Two parts. And uh, can we, uh, I mean, uh, even we didn't know the characters we cannot recognize, can we? I mean, from just uh, looking, can we decide uh, this is left and left and right, basically structure characters, right? And. Uh, like we learned some elements I called like a left side. Is the the date, the sun radical, right? The character by mm -hmm. itself uh, looks mm -hmm. like uh, it's other characters we learn. So as a radical, as a radical, it's become narrow, narrow. It's occupied not half and half, right? Smaller space um, occupied than the right part. Okay, let's just do it. And the horizontal one at the bottom, normally a little bit, you know, up become the press and the lift, see? Like the uh, reverse of the slant, but from the bottom lift. Okay, back to my desk, do not, okay. Mm -hmm. Press and uh, do this. Even the top uh, horizontal one, a little bit up, always do that. Mm -hmm. And press, press, turning part, press and down. This vertical longer. See, 
try to do some uh, like for the beauty um, and not very stiff, like the horizontal <laughs> to seal the box. No, uh, so one short and one longer uh, inside the short one. It touched, it doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then press and the lift and actually cross a little bit to do this as a radical. I mean, for the, 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 the sun, the characters, right? Like that, window that. This is the sun, right? So with radical, radical normally shows like the, um, the category of the meaning. So uh, this character shows um, something has something to do with the sun, right? They reflect horizontal. And then this vertical become a little bit like the tight in. As we say, um, as we write the box, I always say like the big shoulder here and then a little bit like that, right? The shape, not really um, the perfect rectangular. <laughs> okay. Mm. And then the long horizontal, do that, press and that. Um, I did that um, actually just happened very horizontal. Actually, uh, look at the sample, do a little bit up, you know, shows dynamically beautiful. I think my, um, this radical while talking <laughs> is too big already. Well, actually I can always um, adjust, right? By writing the right side bigger. I didn't notice that in time. Okay, and this slant look, uh, first kind of a very um, horizontal, I mean the vertical and then become like that. And then big dot. And um, so these characters, when you do um, this slant, this slant, um, try to do like the first two, two of thirds um, pretty vertically. Um, I mean, you do not, you do not want to do the, the slant from the top, just to very do that. Stay in the center, like a ver very vertical direction, and then, mm. yeah, to the uh, bottom left. Okay, okay this is the standard style. Um, Why well, I'll say too, kind of too big for the radical, and you can adjust the size of right, uh, right hand side of the um, the, the the characters. So at first, um, you try to look at the sample and uh, kind of uh, read it. <laughs> read it means to understand, understand the structure and uh, try to, you know, um, in, your, in your mind. And then you do that, which give you the chance to, um, to write um, and uh, in the middle of the process, you can you know, adjust a little bit for the balancing, uh, looking the best looking thing. Um, that's why I said, you know, sometimes um, I appear at your homework, the characters doesn't have to be exactly, you know, um, um, among them all the same. You know, a little bit different, but each one, um, um, I mean, different ones can be, they are all uh, can be um, beautiful, you know, not, um, not to uh, judge by, by ruler <laughs> to uh, judge it, you know, by looking. And also you have chance to adjust it. Um, walking style, walking style as really you need a couple of uh, times for the practicing and got the, got the flow, 
get familiar with the strokes because uh, it together, connected together, right? Basically, that's the walking, not, you know, not uh, it's step by step, but very connected. Hmm. Yeah, same order, sun, uh, radical, and that time, uh, I mean, the very, uh, very end, the dot, and the lift shows a little bit like the little hook, but do not on purpose the emphasis on the hook. It just the lift and it shows the connection. Um, sometimes they, they, they say that your pen doesn't, doesn't have to lift, uh, I mean, off the paper, just stay on the paper and start the next characters. So just shows that. So, so do not um, on purpose. I mean, do the hook. Connect, do that. Yeah, that's just, uh, I said, and you understand the meaning and uh, you doesn't have to, you know, do the exact, exactly, the same things uh, you look at, you understand, you read the sample, and uh, yeah, you remember how how do I tell you to uh, form it? Okay, you can do this, uh, you know, smaller, right? The radical. Okay, that's the walking style. The running style is a lot changed, <laughs> like totally um, the different form for the uh, things. You know, sometimes changed a lot for the uh, um, the grass style, running style. But some things see the the for the this. This is the sun, right, in the uh, walking style. How from the walking become um, running? And uh, we learned like the mouth, mouth part become uh, running. It's simply just the emphasis on the you know, on the vertical part, right? But connected indicated something, somehow the horizontal. So just do like that, like a 12, like a number 12 things, right? And uh, this kind of the same, that's, that's how look at the, like the head part of the grass, the cursive style. So this is become uh, you know, a little bit like that. Yeah, that's the that's the sun come from, and then become very. Uh, see that this part, this part. Okay, let's do, and that this not occupy the whole uh thing, whole um space. Uh, to the bottom, it's just to stay on the on the up upside. Uh, I mean, sorry about that. I need to move this to the hand hmm, out. See, this stay the upside, right? Not just down to the bottom. It happens uh, in the uh, running style. Okay, and uh, the box part, like that box part, become like, okay, a little bit of press indicated, almost cannot see, you know, here, indicated the first vertical, and then become like the circle-like things indicated the horizontal one, and the back of vertical one, so this kind of forms the, uh, the box right hand, right, right side have and then you know some center part for the for seal here a press 
to the right for uh, indicated the seal of the uh, horizontal one. And then down a little bit to the left hand side, a little bit shows the slant one. And then a big, a little bit of press, you know, for showing the, the last stroke for the press. And then the little tail is the, for the lifting thing. That's how it formed. Okay. I explained and uh, uh, then we tried and look at the sample to uh, by compress comparison, you see, oh, which part uh, should be there? I, I didn't, I didn't notice, you know. Okay, so this part and this part from the sun, right? And a little bit of press, almost cannot see. Now I'm from the box part and then do this a little bit, press up that, that and the press up that, that and then big press like that and back. It's ugly. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, stop and uh, talk. Okay, so, um, and look at the sample. Um, what's ugly? Definitely. Uh, so my this uh, on the sample um, is very like state, state center. Did you notice the vertical things? State the center mm -hmm, to the bottom and then uh, this is powerful, very right? false and quick. You know, some things like that. <coughs> yeah, things like that. And the, the, it's a little bit over, but doesn't matter. Um, each one, each person do the different. And this part, it doesn't have to do this clear, but um, I want you uh, know there is something here to do the press and continue to go. Okay, so do not look at this. I put lots of things here. I just want to uh, show, show you um, how you um, correct, I um, mean, make progress when you practice the, uh, the characters. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, sun part. And then, uh, you know, some part, and then form the dust and more center this time. A little bit of press and do down to press. Uh, better, better, okay. And uh, you can practice more to get the, the best, you know, chi flow you feel comfortable. Like last time, the home the homework I saw Emily Emily's the hard part, the meaning for the meaning, uh, the character for the meaning, and uh, the uh, Mary uh, Mary Dan Mary's the heart. I can tell. Say, oh, uh, looks beautiful, and I can tell um, the flow when you write is very comfortable. When you write comfortable, it looks. Um, I can tell as comfortable looks comfortable. Okay, so uh, yeah, I will say that and uh, do the uh, the fourth one. Okay, that's re, re that, that that is recall the uh, standard one. Um, actually, I always say um, put this because we learned this style um, pretty late. And uh, this, um, uh, I said, is from actually the, um, this early, this even early. Okay. Two parts. And uh, um, it always shows a little bit, I, I don't know how to say it's, um, um, the beauty of the not smooth and a little bit kind of awkward, but it's remind you, uh, you are using knife or a stick on the hard surface, you know, things. Um, and did you notice the big slant? The big slant uh, is two, two strokes 
first vertical, first vertical, and then like two dots, left and right. Okay. The vertical is not directly vertical, kind of. You will try to, you know, you are holding knife, you are holding uh, the stick, or um, you know, to write on the sand. Try to put power and then uh, to this side, <laughs> and stroke by stroke, carving. Uh, Okay, and down, same. Center. Okay, just pretend it to be hold a knife and carving on the stone and go slow, very slow. This uh, goose tail fly is not very um, showy, just a little bit. Oh, actually, when you do that, divided into uh, these two two strokes, you should do this first, do the vertical first, and a big uh, uh, slant, but at the end bounce back. So it looks like a dot you now in, instead of the sharp tip um, lifting it bounce back a little bit and uh, this dot like more triangle not the smooth ring, ring drop mm -hmm. um, talking about actually um, I, um, I saw um, your uh, homework uh, Emily's homework, uh, Mary's homework, and Hui's homework for the clerical style. I think I can tell um, you all got the meaning of that and uh, you did very well. I mean, um, um, shows different beauty from the standard style. Um, the the power you use is different, right? I use the word for um, like a carving um, or hold the stick to write on the sands. Um, actually, this kind of the stroke, this kind of the stroke, I mean, I mean to use your brush. We always say um, the same resource uh, for the Chinese calligraphy and the Chinese painting, right? Um, some people, um, use uh, um, the word of uh, uh, what's the word? Um, I need help. The plow to plow. Um, I would say the tool. Um, normally, um, classically, ancient time to be used uh, um, for the agricultural. Um, the cow and uh, um, cattle and uh, cattle and the person uh, to to dig um, the the field after crop to dig that very um, hold on just one minute. <laughs> Pull You understand that? Um, I don't know how many, and you probably never um, ne never do never do that. Um, in China, in Ch in 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 China, we ha we have we have we had that, and uh, I didn't uh, I didn't touch touch that. But uh, did you have a chance to see the movie, old movie or on um, the TV shows 
the tool um, of that of that in the field, the peasants and the the, the cattle cattle um, in the front, and then these things and the people hold that to follow the cattle. You understand that? Okay. Um, in Chinese um, 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 painting, in Chinese painting, um, they use the this word this word for describe sometimes the line the line uh, need to be not very smooth but how to use use your power to do that they use that that um, sometimes they say uh, to uh, like counter counter front your brush counter front your brush um okay i'll do that instead of this is like the very smooth line like this right and sometimes you want to show the line very powerful and uh, you do that you, you understand me <laughs> the plow plow and uh, um, even you do do plow, which means a little bit like a counter front, counter front your brush instead of pull. You do this a little bit. You understand? That's very, very, very important because in Chinese painting, they do use uh, some way they say, that, oh, this line need to be um, a standard style uh, way to do, which means very fine, uh, defined. And sometimes um, this, uh, you need to use clerical style, the way to do, and they do use the word for plow, the brush plow. I want to um, explain that or why, um, because um, I found um, like the lotus, lotus um, stem, lotus stem. Um, we do not want, normally very long, right? Very long can be vertically uh, or with some anger or sometimes it looks like the very, um, very horizontal or diagonal shape. But actually, um, you know, the leaves, the leaves, uh, the leaves are very big. And the stem need to hold it, hold the, the leaves, not like the tree leaves. It's very heavy, very heavy. So um, the stem is very strong in other way. It's very strong. Instead of do the very smooth line. You are not supposed to do very fast, very smooth, like very quick, very quick. Uh, I, I, I did pretty good <laughs> actually with the white, white fly. You are not very, uh, not to do very, you know, very, normally people, what's more preferred, do the plow thing. You can go this way, doesn't have to go that way. But remember the power, the power of, uh, I mean, the way to feel that way, to feel that way in, in, Chin in Chinese. Especially the agricultural thing. for this. Okay, you remember, um, yeah, you remember um, this, um, exactly we use this word for the um, some, um, the way to use the brush and it shows different line, line quality. Um, um, yes, so um, the, for the lotus, lotus stem, lotus leaves stem, 
um, you do a little bit like that at, from top or from bottom, same, but remember this word. Okay, you, you do that. Slow, slow, but you are plowing. Slow. No matter, straighten your brush or a little bit of counter uh, in front, a little bit slow. Can you tell different? Yeah. And you practice that and in your mind, in your mind, you know, the plow, plow things, <laughs> the plow things mm -hmm. shows different. Sometimes it's hard to um, explain, but I think the best way to understand, to understand the, the, the power, how to use it, you, very important. Later, later you do like the uh, tree trunk, tree trunk, you know, the way, same, same word, and you press more. And also even, you know, even do the like a waterfall, 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 the water come down, the water come down, but the water come down is next to the, the rock. And the, you know, bump a little bit of the rock, right? It's not, it's not like that. Very smooth and quick sweeping. I always say no sweeping, no sweeping for choreography, no sweeping. This is sweeping. And you are supposed to do like that. Okay, you imagine there's my, 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 uh, my brush is wa for water and uh, it's down, it's plow, 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 plow. Okay, it's bumping on the, it's bumping on the, bumping on the rock. You know, some things. Understand? Yeah. I think you only say, oh, um, Give some thoughts, not very connect. Give some thoughts, but how do you do if you do? Oh, water! Oh, give some thoughts. Oh, with rhythm. How do I do the thoughts with rhythm? Uh, you know, you do this way. Uh, no, no, not connected. You don't feel the weight, the gravity. You don't feel that, right? So in your mind, you remember like the. Plow, <laughs> the plow, the, the forceful is, you know, the, 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 you, you are plowing. And the, why you are plowing? Because water is over the rock, over the rock and by gravity. Uh, 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 and you, you, okay. I try to um, explain, explain, because we are doing clerical style. And uh, um, uh, I always say carving, or uh, stick on the sand, feel some um, uh, spec spectacle, right? Okay, um, I think I will try to expand, expand, and I, I mean, um, expand, enlarge some things to say, because um, this is this is joke. It's very important um, to be used in choreography and Chinese painting. The line quality. Uh, sometimes we don't know how to do the tree trunk, you know, the tree trunk, uh, where to stop and uh, what's the powerful, what's the power I'm going, I'm supposed to use, you know, and uh, now we are start with the uh, lotus stem already. And I found uh, it, it, it's time to explain this kind of a plow, plow stroke. Stroke. Okay, even later, you do not have to really angle this like, like the tool in the fields to do this. Uh, 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 uh. You don't have to, to, but in your mind, even you uh, straighten your brush, you still can, you know, feel, feel the, 
how do you how do you use it? How do you use your brush? Definitely not sweep like that. He <laughs> he you, you you understand that yeah, because lotus leaf is heavy and you try to make this kind of things and also in the tree trunk and also in the even the water water waterfall stroke. Okay, let's continue. Remember that plow, plow, plow. I need to remember plow, plow. Um, P L O W. Okay. And this is um, the characters for um, uh, beer. Uh, and normally the uh, meaning I said the meaning one and then the meaning uh, the the meaning one and then the meaning two. So the meaning one um, is um, do not <laughs> kind of uh, do not do anything, do not do some some things. But also the other very different meaning for um, uh, different. Other, another, other, and another. Okay, let's do um, the word it, uh, itself. And uh, the in this very famous frame we are going to do is very um, pos positive, right? Uh, different red, which means shows shows the mm, very beauty, uh, more beaut more beautiful for the um, uh, the red because on the uh, it's reflection of the sun. Okay, so those two uh, uh, parts, two parts, right, for the characters. So left and the right, left and the right uh, to form the character. And the left part is kind of the up and the down, two parts, okay. Normally um, up and down, two parts, um, Upper parts um, small, smaller. I mean, this is the mouth, right? Anybody know the bottom is the character? For what? The top is the mouth, and the bottom is the power. Okay, so this, this uh, the right one, right part is the radical. Um, it's radical of a knife. Small vertical and the uh, large vertical with the hook. This is the character. Anybody know that? Emily? Mike. Power. The power. Yeah. Good, 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 good. The lead, the power. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the um, hurry, uh, I mean, the standard style. Okay, walking style, um, it kind of the change the order that's common. So the mouth become walking style, we got already, I mean, to get used to it, right? So connect just like that, right? And then do this first, and then the hunchback. And then um, the knife uh, vertical um, is very not uh, physically connected, but shows the dynamic things um, a little bit. And this hook could become a little a little bit like that. Yeah. Like we 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 put like two dots, right? Two dots left and right. You know, a little bit. They are together. They are together. <laughs> and 
Okay, let's move to the uh, this style, uh, running style. That's changed a lot, changed a lot. But I think from the uh, standard walking, we can understand and now what's the um, grass style uh, to do. Running style to do. See the upper part, like the two, um, uh, like 12, I always say 12 things, even without the uh, seal the mouth, the, the mouth is the mouth part, right? And then uh, very light to the slant and the hunchback here and the connect with the, like the knife uh, radical become just a one stroke. But look at this circle, look at this circle. I always say, um, not very like a rainbow smooth curve rounded, right? It's between square and uh, rounded. That's the calligraphy stroke. So try to make a little bit of pulse things um, to form this a little bit squarish. And this so this square shows a little bit of kind of vertical things, but not night degree. Uh, perpendicular, I mean, to the horizon for the vertical. A little, however, a little bit squarish thing. You know, just uh, try to read this, and then we do that. Okay, mouth part, and then small ver uh, small slant, and hunchback things and form this a little bit too loose by this part, right? Yeah, for most band thing, look at the sample and then also look at watch your paper. Better, uh, but here actually I prefer um, like that more squarish shows the choreography beauty, right? This is kind of too curvy here. So again, mouth, slant a little bit, hunch back things and do my mm, okay, better. <laughs> Okay, and then clerical. Okay, plow, plow power. Um, can any uh, can anybody um, uh, sh show me pronounce this uh, uh, for me? I think my pronunciation for the P L O W plow plow. Uh, any, 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 can anybody um, um, pronounce plow. it? Say plow. again? Plow. Plow. You do pretty good. Plow. Yeah, you're saying it. Plow. Plow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's a verb and a noun. So to plow or plow. So. To plow, to plow or yeah. plow, verb and a noun. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You, you, you think now nowadays people still understand that? It's used all the time in the agricultural areas, yeah. But I, my husband, I, I don't know I, machine does, right? <laughs> machine yeah. does that, like the tractor, like the tractor with the things, right? Right. Uh, right. It, it, they, they used to use. Actually, <laughs> go ahead. My husband actually has a hand plow that he uses in his garden. Really? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it metal or wood? Metal. Well, metal. The, handles oh. are, the handles are wood, but the uh, plow part is is uh, metal, and he, it's called a push, it's called a push plow. You you push it. Right, 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 right. Also, also we call the 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 way to uh, do the brush is not to pull, but uh, not pull, but push. Mm -hmm.
Is an electric the hand hand plow is electric or um, absolute um, hand? No, it's all manpower. Oh it's wow! Hard work. Hard work. <laughs> Powerful person. <laughs> So um, do you think uh, it makes sense to explain the stroke by uh, the word plow? It, it should be understood by any American, yeah. OK, thank you. Yeah, I think this is the best way. This exactly, exactly uh, the word in Chinese painting, uh, people use that. And also, um, I think try sometimes I try to uh, use the, you go, go slow, go slow, and try some, some sometimes I say, oh, feel you are carving, <laughs> feel you are carving, or feel you are in, uh, uh, hold a stick uh, right on the sand. But um, exactly the way is, I hope, people can understand more is the way um, I could um, hold in the tool of the plow to plow, <laughs> to push, 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 plow. Okay, um, and uh, now the third characters for, um, Any people know what's the uh, radical for the left hand side things? Three. Uh, wood. Wood, wood, wood. Uh huh. And the two of two piece of this is a forest, and the three of them are um, big forest. Okay, two dots. And uh, I said, left, left, left one smaller. Okay, they're together, and the right one, you know, stronger, longer. Horizontal and the second horizontal. Uh, third one, longest one. Vertical, dominant, which means thicker, stronger. By the way, Anybody know this characters? Isn't it goat? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> goat or sheep. Young. Okay, um, walking style. Uh, just the wood, uh, the wood radical part a little bit different because after the slant, um, the dot co very connected become just the, the pre I mean the the lifting press and the lift. So instead of uh, instead of lifting, it's become the whole press press down and then lift. Press down and the lift. That's how it forms. When you do this, people know that's the wood radical. And then very connect. One, two, three. Duh. Um right on uh, the running running style. This part are different uh, right hand, left hand side same almost the same mm -hmm. and the right hand side a little bit different the the uh, uh, oh. 
two dogs like that. Clerical style. Carving to plowing, plow, plow, to plow. Are we doing the cursive style? Cursive style is this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> cursive style. Uh -huh. You get it, you always like the cursive style. Yeah, the slant part, like the, a little bit of like the bounced back. Dot. And this a little dot a little bit, you know, in the clerical style. Very interesting. And the horizontal. First one. And the second one all, always a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. The last one, bottom one is the longest. And uh, the goose tail flying, yeah. I saw you guys uh, understand the tail and also a little bit of wave. Yeah. Very good. First, we learned uh, the tail, the tail, this part, right? And uh, look at the sample. There is also um, another thing is the wave. See, even the, even the tip part uh, for the wood radical and for this part, the goat part, um, kind of shows the, uh, the, um, the sharp tip. And uh, remember, I always say um, no, no sweeping, no sweeping, okay, no sweeping. So remember the more or less for the um, plowing, for the plowing. Um, and uh, for the radical, um, the Chinese um, uh, calligraphy requ re require, re requires like two kind. One is the um, very rounded, we call it morning dew, morning dew or uh, morning dew uh, for the, um, the, the end. And also we call um, hanging, uh, hang, Hang, hanging needle, hanging needle for the uh, sharp tip. Sharp tip is hanging needle. So um, both of them, so actually none of them is swaving. None of them is swaving. It's really like the rest tail, right? Even the, um, the hanging needle is still like the metal things, uh, very stable hanging there which means you need more or less um, for hold, hold your brush um, to plow, to plow, to hold it very stable and use kind of the power, um, no matter thick or um, uh, narrow, lighter, but no swaving, no rest tail looking thing. Okay. Um, any questions about the, uh, the, 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 the characters? We need to review next time because we got three characters. And uh, I'm going to um, start the 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 paint the painting. This is a vertical, um, and uh, for the you know the scroll, uh, lots of uh, Chinese painting, lots of the uh, vertical side painting, um, but not. I, I I don't know as in the fr frame, 
Some people do that, but more common uh, display in the scroll for the for the vertical like this. But uh, try to arrange the um, composition like that. So this composition, um, let's look at it. Kind of uh, uh, for the whole thing. Uh, Uh, kind of the for the whole thing, uh, kind of the S S shape, right? Kind of, kind of the like letter S, kind of letters. Um, so any you know any any anything you can start. Uh, no. Uh, I want to start at the flower because uh, the phrase says the flower, blah, 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 special red, <laughs> a beautiful red. Um, so it's that a little bit over the half and uh, kind of in the center, but a little bit, you know, um, turn the left a little bit and uh, the, let's see the Neil had a stroke. Vic, oh, we oh, can't, oh, sorry. Can't see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Neil had, okay. Press. I want to do the like a cur curly leaves. Press and do that. And the bottom, I think it's kind of this. Things and then the other thing very important is this side. You got sample, right? Remember we talk we talk about the Pantian show the artist this artist do some line kind of a squarish <laughs> very shayi meaning right And also like the Qi Bai, Qi Bai Shi, other artists said on uh, the way, um, and how uh, if you learn from me, um, it's, um, it's the good way, it's life, life. Um, but just stroke by stroke mimic, mimic me is dead. <laughs> no way to do that. So um, right meaning, uh, meaning, meaning right is meaning right. And I'll go some. Uh, some some wings and do not go the 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 wings very straight you know with some anger and very shy Um, actually need, you know, more um, 
thick and darker um, red to do the tip, the nail head part. part. It shows a lot later. It doesn't have to be exactly repeat. You can do a little bit, you know, just try to do some press and lift, really nail head thing. Press and lift, press and lift, press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. Lift. Press and lift. Shoes, nail head. And uh, the center thing, right? And the yellow. It doesn't have to uh, define the dots or lines, things. I think just a very shade the things. Okay, I'm going to use my ink to do the stem. Uh, and then next class continue. Okay. Um, See this one a little bit um, kind of a horizontal, but some angles from here, right? Remember, do not sweep, go slow, go slow. You know, the Qi Bai Shu's painting, um, I saw the video I watched. Very simple, right? Qi Bai Shu's, but very slow. Simple stroke, simple composition, but very slow, very powerful. Okay, go. Plowing. So, um, okay, talking about Qi Bai Shi, um, one, one thing, uh, do you know um, he, was, he was the carpenter before you read the story? Uh, so his painting, his painting is very uh, because personality is very xie yi. It's very it's very very xie yi, uh, meaning right. But actually, because of he, uh, his um, career, and um, very precise, actually very precise, very um, very arranged, very planting, uh, very planting. Um, so the freestyle shows very planting and uh, uh, his stroke like that. He also carved carve the seals a lot, right? Lots of people say, oh, I want to learn uh, uh, Qi Bai, Qi Bai Shu's carving style, you know, for the seal design. And by the way, um, it's time to let you know the stroke come from, you know, he was carpenter for a long time. He does a lot of um, the wood, uh, uh, that the window, Window, uh, window frame things, very artistic things like a carving, like a wood block things. Did a lot. <laughs> okay, some dots, some dots. Have we draw? Have we dry? You need to put some dots. When you put dots, very free. Look at the sample. You know, even after. The stem. Just very shady, mean, mean you right things. Okay, um, I think um, the time we do the rest next time <laughs> and uh, we practice the, char the characters um, and later we write um, the um, characters here and uh, we do, or after class, you can try to do the rest of the things here and the little arrow little arrow things you see that see that the, the arrow things I think it's possibly for the tarot leaves or the halfway open the uh, lotus leaf 
the lotus leaves. So you just you know do the do things like the arrow. Do not do the parallel, Just, you know, could be um, halfway blue, halfway, halfway open the, the, the lotus leaves. And also you see, some, you see some vertical things and there is the horiz seems horizontal one. You know, something like that. Okay, um, I will let you go and uh, you can practice yourself or, or we do it next time. By the way, um, next time um, is the other um, um, other other section of the four um, classes. Um, I hope you can uh, con continue and uh, I'm going to continue and uh, to uh, register again uh, for next uh, uh, section of the four um, classes. And uh, next time, I think, uh, next section, I want to do some, um, some, phrase, some phrase and uh, some very simple uh, uh, for roses, the flower because everybody familiar with roses and uh, in Chinese painting, they don't, they do, they, they do, do not have the, um, traditionally have the roses. We do not have a lot, but we appreciate a lot. So we, uh, we can do the phrase for that and the word for that and the image, uh, very uh, meaning, uh, meaning, uh, meaning right style uh, for the roses. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, for um, being in my class and have interest in the um, choreography and the Xie Yi meaning right to painting. Um, and we can do uh, the painting and the, the characters uh, choreography on that already. Um, congratulations actually on, I saw the, uh, Mary's painting good and uh, 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 the Emily's uh, painting and the Kathy's cards um, very well. You start to use characters um, and uh, the painting uh, with the characters, can you go with characters? Uh, very, very, very good. I'm very glad <laughs> um, you can do that. And I, 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 all, all the way, I saw the, um, the progressing you are uh, making. Uh, very happy to see that. See that, and even you know the Kathy's characters. Some uh, I cannot really uh, re you know recognize. The, um, he copied from the um, the Japanese book. I'm not familiar with the um, the the certain form, the the, the style, but it, it shows calligraphy beauty, beautiful calligraphy, exactly. Uh -huh. So um, and sometimes I, I let you I let you know um, the way to do that, and that's just because of you do not know the characters. But uh, I say that's the small problem because um, after the practice we know the principle, we know the meaning, we know the spirit. Uh, so I, I tell you, and you understand, and you correct it. Yeah, that that's why that's why I call you know some. Um, some question, some problem is the small problem. <laughs> we can very, very easily, yeah, since we know it, oh, okay, oh, should be, should like that, okay, like that. But the basic, you know, after the practicing, we, we got, we got, and uh, we are doing better and better. Okay, so happy uh, 